I'm gonna be using this lip sleeping mask. Yes, I know I'm not sleeping, but it's a lip mask. And this one's the gingerbread man one. It smells good. I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste good. I don't really know what I like the taste of lip balms and lip mask. That's normally why I get chapstick and I always get Carmax because of that one I don't mind the case. We're just gonna get it ready to go to the zoo. And then for primer, I use the Milk Hydro Grip. I love this primer, it works really, really good. A good dupe is the e.l.f. one. And it works really good, but I feel like this is more like a grippy one that's like, it goes on smooth and then it turns to like a grip where I feel like the e.l.f. one is just like sticky automatically from the get-go even when you take it out of the container and you pump it on your hand. I feel like this is more like it gets sticky. So I personally like this one a lot more, but if you're on a budget, the e.l.f. one is really, really good. And then for foundation, I'm gonna be using my Fenty foundation today. And then for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I know a lot of people like to use pencil, but I don't really like using a pencil to be honest. I feel like when I use pencil on my brows, they're just more natural and like sparse. And I like more of the fuller Insta brow type of look. And I normally either use this one or the Benefit one. And e.l.f. has a really good one too. That's probably just as good and it's a lot cheaper. And then I use my e.l.f eyebrow duo brush i just put my primer on first just because i wanted it to sit because i feel like when you put that primer on it needs to dry when i use that primer i never just straight away go with my foundation i let it sit for a little bit and then i'm going to be doing a vlog from the from the zoo in the zoo and right now I'm making sure all my stuff is charged for my camera. And I just underlined my brows first. And sometimes I mess up just a little bit, but that's why I like to do my eyebrows first, just in case if I mess up, I could Clean it up with like a makeup cleaner, makeup cleaner, makeup remover, foundation or concealer, or even when I prime my eyelids, I also conceal at the same time. So all of that will be cleaned up basically. And I use this a lot, as you can tell. I feel like when I do um, my eyebrows with pomade. I could buy the pomade and the pomade's like 23 bucks I think and I feel like a little bit goes a longer ways with pomade where when I use pencil I keep having to buy more pencils and a lot of people I know go through like a pencil in a month and I'll go through the whole entire pomade in like a year or until it just dries out and it's no longer good anymore because to be honest, I know they have expiration dates, but when it comes to pomade for my eyebrows, um, I normally just end up scooping it out or I just like it's eyebrows. It's not as big of a deal as, um, what is it called? As your face products. And then for my eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna be going in with the P. Louise base. This is the number two base. Um, I normally try to go to a pretty thin layer because I'm going to be carving my eyebrows out with it on the bottom. And also, if you go to look with this product, it does crease. So the best way I have found to use it is take like a flat brush like this, which is one of the BH Cosmetics brushes. 
take this and just outline your brows on the bottom and I know I make a weird face I do this all the time it's a bad habit And then I go with like a blending brush or a buffer brush and I just buff the bottom of my eyeshadow primer down. And then if I have to and I feel like I need just a little more, I dot it on my eyelid. This one's really, really good as well as the MAC paint pots are really good. Um, Lately, I've been shifting away from MAC since I used to work there 24-7. I actually really, really do like their products, but I've decided in the long coming months that I, when I left, I left because you can't get any weekends off. You cannot request weekends off. There's no flexibility in the schedules. You cover for people, but they don't want to give you a weekend off. You cover for somebody else, but they don't want to let you close. And I really, really did like the job and I liked working there and I loved doing makeup and whatnot. But I just hated the fact that the company is all about the company, I feel like. And I never got a single weekend off. Right now, I'm a freelance artist, so I go there whenever they need me, basically, and whatnot. I'm going to be using this shade. But um, since I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I was losing a lot of money doing weddings. Because I would want to, you know, close and say, hey, can I close Saturday so I could do a wedding in the morning? And they would just be like, yeah, it's not happening. And I had to cancel, or not really cancel... But say now on so many weddings because Mac was not lenient with their schedule. So once you're on the schedule, that's basically it. They'll try to fix it sometimes, but not all the times. And when it came to weddings, um, that's where I make my most of my money when it comes to hair. Besides working in the salon and doing color. So I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Now I'm just off on my own and I'm doing pretty decent. I work probably like three times a week. I would like to do more, but right now I'm working for myself. So I just get the clients. I make more money working for myself than I do working for like people. Cause I don't make commission and I don't make hourly. I just work by myself. And I basically provide my own products and then I get my own money. And, um, yes. I would either love to keep doing that or do, like, makeup on YouTube. And then I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's just, um, it's really hard right now on YouTube because a lot of people are not watching tutorials. More people are on TikTok and buying recommended products from tiktok and they're not even like looking at the old like reviews on youtube and uh it's hard because i'm not even big on youtube yet hopefully i become there one day but it's hard because i'm not even big on youtube and i'm not even getting the video views and the bigger people aren't even getting the views either um, this one's a really good dupe is what I was talking about for this one, but if you have the money, I would splurge in the milk one. And then for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 240. And I just put this on a Real Techniques brush. And I believe I got this brush from like, not last holiday, but the holiday before. 
um, as long as you properly clean and sanitize your brushes, they do last really long. And yes, I always get a couple of shades darker. And my foundation is always darker because this is my summer shade. And then if I have to lighten it, I will just use concealer. Because I always use concealer every day anyways. I don't normally like to change my foundation shade like some people do. Some people go lighter in the winter and then in the darker, I mean in the, in the summer, in the darker. In the summer they go darker, but I just stay the dark shade all year round because this is my summer shade. I like the pan all year round. And all I do to make it look natural and lighten it is concealer. See, so, it's not bad on my neck. I just feel like my face is very white compared to my neck. And, uh, let's see. And then my powders and then my concealers are always a little bit lighter. So that's what ends up neutralizing it when I use a darker foundation. For example, this one's the e.l.f. in a light sand. My hair's a mess. But my good how light that is. And then I'm just going to blend under my eye. And I know some people tend to go with like a different brush or another like sponge. But I always go with the same brush because I like to use whatever is left over on the brush to already blend what we have. Like that. Mm-hmm. And then this powder is in the shade NC25. And this one's the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I normally also set with the loose powder or a trans. Ugh, can you even talk? Or a translucent powder. This brush I got off of Amazon. That's what it's called. Um, a lot of the Amazon brushes are really, really nice, and they're really, really good. Make sure you just read the reviews before, like, checking out and buying it. Because I know some of them are a little finky-dinky, and some of them are a little cheap. Like, the quality-wise. But some of them are just really, really good, but nobody just uses them because... A lot of people like to go with the brands. I started using stuff from Amazon, like the foundation brushes, or any of the brushes in general. When BH Cosmetics stopped selling as many brush sets as they do now. So for my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Juvie's Place Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I'm just using this one right here. And we're going to You can hear me? Yep, everybody can hear you. Hi, everybody. My dad just got in here, and we're going to go to the zoo. I'm hungry. So am I. So you know what that means? They're going to have to feed yeah, me. Yeah, you're not getting anything. Blah, blah, blah. You don't get crap. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to starve you. Blah, blah, blah. And then this one's a BH Cosmetics brush. And so is this one. 
And I just bought this one. This one's a new palette. I really, really like it. All ready. And then I'm going to be using the Milani blush in a baked powder blush. I don't know what shade this is. Oh, those said pink. So English, pink candy. And I'm using the same brush that I used for the bronzer. I tend to use a lot of bronzers and blush now compared to contour. We like to look warm. And then I'm just going to be blending a little bit of the eyeshadow under my eye. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, this is one of the ones I've had forever. The ones that I bought didn't come in yet. I know, I keep getting the UPS. And then I'm going to be smoking kitchen. under my eye. I know, my dad has, um, my Ulta account is under his account. And since yesterday was Black Friday, I ordered a lot of stuff from Ulta. Mm -hmm. Like $200 worth. Because I ordered another one. Another package that I'm supposed to go pick up. I ordered one package that I have to pick up and then one package that is going to come to the house. I'm not going to that mall. What? I said you're not going to get me close to that mall. I like that mall. And then I'm just putting some... Making sure all my face is set and I'm biked. Me and my dad are starving. Yeah. And then I'm going to be going in with the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. And I normally go in with these two. Why don't I get some telemarketer phone calls? And this is on the Wet n Wild brush. Because I always put on highlight. And then not a lot of people use highlight as much as they did before. Like, when highlight was super big, when I was in high school, like, three years ago, people like matte face, but I still love my shiny highlight. And this one's a really, really pretty highlight, and sometimes I go a little overboard, and then I just go like this. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the MAC in Extreme Dimension Waterproof Mascara. You expecting it to rain today? No, I have allergies. So I always wear waterproof because I have allergies. And my dad likes to be a silly goose, but... Oh, that makes sense. That's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Ha ha ha. So when my eyes get watery... My mascara doesn't get messed up. And I always like to use this one or the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Waterproof. And you know it's waterproof because the packaging is black and green or blue. It's like aqua. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place in the shade Nile. And I really like the packaging. And it smells good. I'm going to buy another ukulele. Grandma bought it. For who? Grandma. Oh, God.
And this is the lipstick. 